हाउ टू अप्लाई द कंस्टेंट्स लाइक प्राइमरी की फॉरन की नॉट नल टू द टेबल्स हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सुकन्या फ्रॉम गो एडू अप टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई सेवरल कंस्टेंट्स लाइक प्राइमरी की फॉरन की एंड नॉट नल टू द टेबल्स इन डेटा बेस सो फर्स्टली वी नीड टू नो दैट वॉट आर कंस्टेंट्स वट डू वी मीन बाय कंस्टेंट्स सो एस क्यू एल कंस्टेंट्स आर यूज टू स्पेसिफाई रूल्स फॉर टेबल इन एनी डेटा बेस दे आर यूज टू लिमिट द टाइप ऑफ डेटा दैट कैन गो इन टू अ टेबल दिस इंश्योर्स द एक्यूरेसी एंड रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ डेटा इन द डेटा बेस कंस्टेंट्स कुड ईदर अप्लाइड ऑन अ कॉलम लेवल और ऑन टेबल लेवल The column level constraints are applied only to one column, whereas the table level constraints are applied to the whole table. Constraints are thereby classified into two types: that is, column level constraints and table level constraints. So, as I have said, that the column level constraints limits only the column data, whereas table level limits to the data of whole table. so there are several table level constants which can be applied to a table those are not null unique primary key foreign key check and lastly default so we are going to discuss it one by one that what are these constants and how can they be applied and then i will show you how to implement the queries so firstly starting with what is a not null constant not null constraint restricts a column from having a null value once not null constraint is applied to a column you can pass a null value to that column it enforces a column to contain a proper value here is suppose a query that we have created a table naming student and the fields are student id name and age and the data type is int var char and int respectively for the fields and now we have also mentioned a constraint that student id cannot be not null it means you cannot pass a null value to the student id column you have to mention id of that student for storing any value in the table so for example if i execute this query in my command line so now you can see that query is okay the constraint has been applied and uh, there are zero rows affected because now there is no entry in the table the table is empty this has only the structure of the table next is a unique constraint for example if we create a table and if i also mention the unique constraint to some field that means every student id has to be different no student could have the same id for example there are two student aman and vijay they cannot have same roll numbers in school they have to be different roll numbers so that they could be identified similarly the unique constraint ensures that field or column will have only unique values the values must be unique they must not have any duplicacy or have any duplicate data this constraint can be applied at column level as well as table level too for example if i want to create a table name student and the fields are student id int is the data type and not null and unique are two constraints that means this field cannot be left null no null value should be there and if you are mentioning a value then that value has to be unique next field uh, name is name having var char the name of student and the age of student so if i execute this query and if i execute the query which i have mentioned here then you can see the changes i will show you so this is the query that uh, the table student 1 is the table name because you cannot have a same name of tables in a database it would show you that the tables already exist so i have mentioned the table name as student 1 student id not null and has to be unique the name and the age and when i press enter that means the query is okay all the constants are well enough to be executed along with the table 
सो नेक्स्ट इफ आई गो दैट हाउ टू अप्लाई यूनिक कॉन्स्टेंट कॉलम वाइज so for that the query is alter table student and add unique to student id that means you can add unique to a particular column also by just applying these alter constraint so if i execute the query then we can see that the table student has now unique we have added unique to the table student not to student 1 i might mention you student 1 i have specifically mentioned along with the structure of the table when i am creating this table but this is i am altering the table by adding unique to only one column that is student id so next is how to apply primary key how can i apply primary key to a table so now applying primary key so we have to know that what is a primary key a par primary key is uniquely defines each row or record of the database table a combination of not null and unique can be said as primary this constraint is used to specify a field in a table as primary key for example if i am creating a table name student i will change the name of the table as we cannot have duplicacy in table name it will show that the database already has a table naming student so i will write it as student 2 or student 3 when id having not null and unique characteristics the name the address and primary key is associated to the id which means that id has to be a combination of not null and unique and when i apply it column wise then we can see that alter table student and add primary key to that field that is sid so when i execute the query when i execute the query you can see that i have mentioned the table name that is different student 3 the id which is not null and unique and i have also mentioned that primary key to id it has to be the combination of unique and not null and when i pass the query it shows me that the query is okay and no rows are affected as there are no entries in the table right now and we have created the table having the constraints primary key we can alter the table too by adding primary key to sid that means students id will have primary key next is foreign key so what do we mean by foreign key a foreign key is used to relate two tables two tables can be related together using foreign key foreign key constraints is also used to restrict action that would destroy links between tables foreign key is a field in a table which uniquely identifies each row of uh, another table that means it will identify but it will relate two tables together how is it done for example if we are creating a table naming bank then bank id is primary key okay we have mentioned the constant that it has to be unique and not null employee name is having varchar and also not null that means employee name has to be specified student id int foreign key references college id that means it has to reference and pass college id we can also see that we can apply foreign key constant column wise also using the alter table command and we use alter table bank to the table bank and we can add foreign key to any college id of other table which will reference to the id of the college table the next constraint is check check constraint is used to restrict the value of a column between a range it performs a check on the values before storing them into the database it's like condition before uh saving data into a column so the query for it is create table student and we have to remember this thing all the examples are been done using a same table that is student table student table student table but when we try to execute such queries it would show that duplicacy is there you cannot have a table having same name in a database so you have to change the table name according to that 
so in create table student you have seen that there is student id int not null and check student id is greater than 0 that means the value has to be the student id value has to be greater than 0 means id has to start with 1 2 3 it cannot have starting with 0 it cannot it should be greater than 0 in all the conditions and you can apply the check constant in column wise also that is alter table student and add check student id greater than now as I have executed this query for check constraint that is alter table student and add check that the student id has to be greater than 0. So it has shown me that the query is okay and no rows are affected because the table has no as such entries for checking the constraint. Right now we are just implementing on the structure of that table. Next is the default constraint and this is the last constraint of the table or column wise and default constraint sets a value for a column when no value is specified. This constraint is provided a default value for the fields. For example, if uh, our college administrator is maintaining a database and by default it would have college name as the respective college name only because if students are not specifying then it is quite generous generic to know that the student would be belonging to same universities or the phone number is going to have 10 digits so those are default values means if no value is being given then the default value is this only so the query is create table student you can name the table according to your own convenience id is there which is not null name is there and age is by default 18 means if the person is not giving any value of the age then by default the data stored in the table of any individual candidate having age would be 18 so if we are going to create a table for naming student and if i execute this query and now you can see that i have created a table naming student 7 to avoid the duplicacy of tables id i have mentioned which could be not null name is mentioned which is also not null constraint and age is by default 18 that means if students are not specifying or the database manager is not specifying any age then by default the value stored would be 18 and as i run this command it shows me that the query is okay so in this module we have learned about the constraints and how to apply those constraints in table level the constraints are not null unique primary key foreign key default and check and uh, this is how we have learned in this video that how to apply constraints to a table for next videos we will be learning more queries thank you